Hello there, this is Stephen Ball at Delphi Ball. And in this video, we're going to be looking at creating and connecting to a Microsoft SQL Server database in the Azure Cloud. And also how we can then use that directly within RAD Studio, uh, within our Delphi and C++ builder applications. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a Microsoft Azure account. Now, Microsoft do a free trial period, uh, which I think is about a year on a number of the, the different services, uh, which includes the, the database part here. So if you go to portal.azure.com and uh, put in your Microsoft ID, uh, sign up and register, you'll be able to get to the point that you've got a, fr uh, a free subscription, uh, and then we'll be able to use that for the rest of the day, the video and the demo. And once we've got the uh, your account sorted out, we'll then be able to jump straight into what we're gonna do now, which is creating the database and then connecting it from Brad Studio. So when you log into your Microsoft Portal account, uh, you'll be able to see a list of the services that are available. Now we're going to use the, uh, the SQL database service right now. And you can see I've got no databases currently created. Now I have previously created one and destroyed one, so a couple of bits will pop up that are pre-populated, but I'll show you how to fill those in. So the first thing we need to do is create a SQL database. And it brings you into this wizard with a few steps to follow through. Again, subscription is the free trial. Uh, I've already got a, a resource group created. Uh, if you haven't got one, just click Create New, type in a name, and hit Save, and that will then pop that in the list. Uh, the database, I'm just going to call Demo. Now, I already have a server. Now, when you create a server, it pops up this little dialog on the right-hand side here where you enter your server name. So I called mine Delphi Ball, and that gives you your server name database.windows.net and then your login and password as you want, and then you can choose a region that you want the database to be residing in. So once you've got that done, uh, that again will just populate the server box. So I'm gonna leave it with the standard pool. I'm not gonna worry about an elastic pool here. Uh, the configuration here is just a standard database. There are multiple different database configurations that you can choose. Uh, I'm just gonna work with standard for the moment. So next is networking, and when you go through this first time through, uh, you'll have an option to uh, include the, uh, the firewall. Uh, so I've just used a public, uh, a public IP for this, um, but I have then restricted the firewall to only allow connections from my IP address. There are other, other options in terms of private endpoints and so on, which you can set up. Um, but because we have a fixed IP address here, I've just used the, the firewall to set up the, the connection. So it only allows connections directly from here to keep it secure. And the database here, I'm just going to, I could choose none, which will give me a, a blank database. Or I can choose backup, which will help me restore from a previous backed up SQL Server database. If you're migrating a database into the cloud. Uh, or you can choose sample here. Uh, I'm just going to use sample because I haven't got a, a previous database. Uh, and just for the, the speed of this demo, just to show tables with some data in, uh, I'm just going to use it to create a sample database here. There's also some advanced data security stuff that you can do. Um, there's a free 30-day trial. I'm not going to turn that on. It already has encryption at rest, uh, I believe, so we'll just go with that. Now, as this is a resource, we can then tag it. It's marked as a SQL Server database. Uh, I'm just going to call this demo DB. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, demo DB, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, I can see now here I've got any uh, any uh, pricing stuff to, to check through, uh, um, but all I need to do now is just hit create. And this now takes a couple of minutes. You can see it's submitting the deployment. It's building it through. It's going to automatically redirect me through to this uh, page here, which shows me that the deployment is underway. Uh, it's in the middle of building this. It's part of the free trial. Uh, it's part of this demo group resource. You can download the de details in JSON data packet. Uh, but we should see uh, a few different things kind of build here. And as soon as they're done, we can then go into the IDE and start setting them up. So just whilst that's going, we know some of the details already. So let's see what we need to actually do in the IDE.
so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new VCL application here. And I'm going to put a new data module down. And we're going to use this to put our data connection in. Uh, but I want to actually be able to use this time and time again. So I'm actually going to go to Data Explorer and set it up in Data Explorer first. So under Microsoft SQL Server Connections, I'm just going to create a new one called Azure uh, Delphi Ball. The name here doesn't really matter. Uh, it's what we put in here that counts. So the database was the demo database. The username here is Delphi Ball. Uh, the password, which I'll pop in here now. And the uh, the server was at Delphi Ball dot, and then the, the rest of the thing. Uh, so I'll go back and copy that to make sure I get that correct. Now, there are a few other things that we need to uh, put into here. The schema is DBO, uh, database, uh, and then the catalog is the same as your database name. So I'm just going to put here demo. So let's just uh, refresh this here. I can see I've got my demo database created. I can click onto it. That brings up the details. And I've got here open on the other side here the DocWiki page. And if you just type into DocWiki uh, FireDAC MSSQL, uh, you can, you'll get to the, the SQL Server connection for FireDAC. And then just part way down the page, if you uh, ever need to, to find these details again, there's all the different connection types, including the parts to do with the uh, uh, this is uh, your connection. So we do need to make sure that we've got encrypt set to true uh, and the username is our username at our server name uh, and we need to make it, well you don't need to put TCP in here uh, it does make it work um, either way around um, but uh, if you if you, if you need to then you need to, uh, to pop that in if you have any problems. So let's just go back uh, I'm going to copy this server name here in full or oh, I just use the complete clipboard. So let's put the server down uh, and update the username to be username uh, username at uh, and it is Delphi Ball. So my username and my server are the same name, hence the two being the same there. Uh, and we need to just set encryption to be true. Or yes. So we now test the connection from here and we're successfully connected. So to go ahead and use this now we can open this up, we can see the tables that are in here. Ah, there we are, the tables are now populated up. So we've now got the tables in, uh, let's go ahead and choose uh, the customer table. I'm going to put that down here and let's put a, a data source down. Uh, and rename this data source customers. And go back to the main form and just go file use unit. Uh, we use our data module here. Uh, first of all, let's put a DB navigator down. And let's align this to the bottom. Uh, and let's put in the DB grid as well. And connect that up as well. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to open this up at the point that we create. So I'm just going to say here, uh, customer table dot open. So there we are, we can now see that our database is connected to the cloud and we can scroll through and we can see our data is all, all in there. And that's as easy as it is. So there we are, we've seen the steps creating the accounts, I just go to portal.azure.com, creating the database and then using it from within Magic Studio.